This is Melting Mirror, and these are the questions you want me to answer. Lunabelle on DeviantArt asks, which cosplay is my favorite? It's really hard to pick a favorite because I've made quite a few costumes over the years, but in recent years, I guess, my favorite one is Hannah from Gate 7, just because there's a lot of elements to it. There was some props, and there was dyeing, and there was a lot of sewing, and makeup, so I liked all the elements that went into it, and the final product just looked really amazing in my eyes, so it's my favorite costume at the moment. So Lunabelle also asks which cosplay was my first, and that was Aruha from Clover. I simply picked the costume because she had curly hair like myself, and I really thought that was just a simple way of going about it. Kajia the Kitten on DeviantArt asks if I've ever been to a rave before a convention, and the answer is no, raves weren't exactly my thing, and I wouldn't exactly consider raves at a convention's raves. <laughs> More like a dance party. So, that's about it really. Another question she asks is what is my favorite anime character? Tough question. I mean, I don't necessarily pick really favorite characters out of shows that I watch, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Yorichi from Bleach, even though Bleach has kind of gone off the deep end right now. And Grimjaw, my close, close second. I'm really hoping it makes a comeback, although it's next to impossible at this point. She also asked, um, before you started cosplaying, did you have this feeling that you were the only one that was doing it? Well, the answer to that is no, because I only found out about cosplaying because my friends said, hey, you should make a costume and come to this convention with us because we're all dressing up. So I wasn't exactly cosplaying before I found out about conventions and cosplay in general. Chiyuki on DeviantArt asks, what's up with the mayor of Toronto? Uh, I don't know. Most Canadians do not know. I don't even think the mayor of Toronto knows what is up with himself. Bahamut Knight on DeviantArt asks, what's the most challenging costume I've ever made? Easily my Styria costume from Final Fantasy XIII. It was... I had to build a motorcycle on my head. I mean, it was just a lot of prop making and armor making, especially considering that I never really worked with armor before. So it was really a lot of planning and drafting, and it was just months after months of spending my weekends at a workshop, just working on it, working on it, working on it, and I still didn't get it done in time that I had to work on it in the hotel room at the event that I wore it. And I only wore it once, so that's months of work to wear it only once, and I need to do repairs to wear it again, but I don't even know if I will put the time aside to do it. So yeah. <laughs> Vizu Vampy on DeviantArt asks if I can give any tips on making props. There are so many things that are related to prop making, especially like Warbla. But um, I'm going to try and get into making more videos, including tips on making props. But a general tip would be to always draft out your design in paper or cardboard first, see how it looks, and then start transferring it to other mediums. And it's always better to make it bigger than smaller because you can always scale down from there. If you make it too small, it's a lot more effort to build it back up. Vizu Vampy on DeviantArt asks, is it only natural for women to be dominating the cosplay scene and do you ever see men catching up? Um, I don't think it's necessarily natural that women are dominating in the cosplay scene. I mean, I, f I find a lot of women take interest in it because there's a lot of creative aspects that go to it, so sewing and painting and crafting. And I find that a lot of the men in the cosplay scene tend to gravitate more towards the armor because a lot of men's costumes tend to gravitate around that. I think it's going to equalize a little bit more over the years as there's more people getting into the community. But, um... Yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> Knights28 on DeviantArt asks, How many conventions do I attend on average? Right now, I'm averaging out about 10 a year, which is quite a lot. I used to do about 5, so it's been gradually increasing, but I don't think I'm going to be doing more than 10 a year. 10 a year is a significant amount if you consider how much time it takes to make the costumes and the weekends dedicated to that. So he also asks, which conventions would I like to attend but I've never attended before? So in Canada, I'd really like to check out Anime Evolution in Vancouver, which is a lot of money to fly over there from where I am. Um, in the States, I'd really like to check out Anime Expo and Dragon Con, which I should be attending next year, yay! Um, out in Europe, I really, really, really want to go to Japan Expo in Paris. I have a friend who lives there, so it'd be quite the trip. Also, I'd always love to check out a convention out in Japan. Don't know if I cosplay though, but uh, Kamaket seems like a really fun place to go. His last question is, what's your favorite kind of pie? Easily, strawberry rhubarb, cherry pie, close second. 
Thanks for sending me your questions, and if you like what you saw, you can subscribe. I'm going to start adding more videos to my YouTube channel.